Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do something that I feel like I've needed to do for a while. I'm obviously in my bathroom, hello. And a lot of people have been asking about my curly hair routine, like what products do I put in my hair and all that good stuff. My hair has actually grown a ton, so I guess this can kind of be like a, um, what products I use, like holy grail products, how I style my hair, slash how I got my hair to grow video. So I think I'm gonna hop in the shower. I just got back from the gym. So before I get in the shower, I wanna show you what I use in the shower. Okay, so, hello, I'm back. I just got myself out of the shower. So first of all, I don't use exclusively, ooh, focus, I don't use exclusively Diva Curl products, but when it comes to my shampoo and conditioner, it's worth the money for me because the bottles are huge and it lasts a long time. <laughs> Kina is always getting into stuff. The uh, conditioner or shampoo that I have is the No Poo Original Shampoo. So that is the shampoo that I have. Uh, all this stuff is 100% sulfate, paraben, silicone free. Like it's made for curly hair. And I love this because it doesn't dry my hair out. It's really hard to find can, or shampoos that don't completely dry your hair out and don't leave it like super ratty. So this is specifically made for that. So I love it. As you can see, this is kind of a new bottle, but it's barely gone. And that's because I guess this is kind of my first tip too, is I don't shampoo my hair every day. I think that's really important because it dries your hair out and it is not good for curly hair. So I do not shampoo my hair every single day. I actually only use this and shampoo my hair once a week, which could seem kind of gross to some people, especially because I work out, but it's like my number one tip is like don't shampoo your hair every day it's bad sometimes i do it twice a week but i usually try to just do it once and there's so many different like styles and i mean dry shampoo like there's so many ways to make your curls last longer and i feel like people don't utilize that so they're constantly putting so much product in their hair and again like i'm not a professional so take everything i say with a grain of salt this is just what works for me but i find that my curls grow faster look better and are just overall healthier if I'm not constantly washing it, constantly putting product on it and all that stuff. I just kind of let my curls be a lot of the time. So anyways, this is the shampoo I use. I shampoo my hair like once a week. And for conditioner, for conditioner, I use the One Condition Decadence. This is different. It's not the original conditioner, I think. Like these don't two don't go together. I know they have a Decadence shampoo version. Um, but it's ultra moisturizing milk conditioner. <laughs> and I love this stuff. Like I just like so much of my hair. I uh, finger brush my hair, which is my other tip is do not brush your hair. Like <laughs> I mean do, but don't brush your hair every day. That's actually like, you just don't want to be pulling your hair and that can cause breakage. I think <laughs> Again, not a professional, but I have noticed a huge difference when I started finger combing my hair. So that's my other tip. And then lastly, a few times a week, I will pull out this bad boy, Frutis. It's like a smoothing treatment, a one minute hair mask. It also is paraben free, sulfate free, all that stuff. It's actually vegan, 94% um, biodegradable formula. Uh, yeah, and it smells amazing. It smells so good. And when I put this in my hair, my hair just feels so smooth and I feel like it gives me the extra conditioning that I need. So I do this in the shower too. Like, usually I do it if I, I always do it after I wash my hair. Like I'll condition it and then I'll put this in. Sometimes I do it if it's not time to wash my hair, but I need like an extra zing in my hair. You know what I mean? Like if I'm gonna style it, and I need to like wet my hair down. I'll put this in it and brush through it, rinse it out, and that'll be it. So yeah, and then, oh, another thing that I do, I struggle with a really, really dry scalp, so I actually got some tree oil. I will just like mix this in with the shampoo and shampoo it in my hair. This has a very strong smell, so if you don't like things that smell, do not use this, because it's very strong. Not in a bad way, it's just very overpowering and overwhelming. So anyways, that's what I use in the shower. So I'm gonna go do that now and then I will show you what I put in my hair 
when I style it. So I just got out of the shower and my, I don't know how many tips I'm on, but the next thing that I do is I use like an old cotton t-shirt to put my hair up. I do not use regular towels. I know they have special towels um, for curly hair, but they're kind of expensive when you can just use an old t-shirt that you don't really wear anymore, like a old cotton t-shirt. So that's what I do. So I put it in my hair and just wrap it up like a towel and it's so much better for your hair. Like it's softer on your hair. So that's my next tip is to use something like that. And then what I usually do is like get ready, get dressed and leave this on my head for as long as I possibly can because I hate hate when my hair is dripping wet and I don't diffuse my hair or blow dry my hair like I try to not use heat on my hair at all the only time I will use heat on my hair I'll use one of these wands and that's if I'm on like a four day three day curl and my curls are looking a little crazy and they just like need some structure like they need to be remade a little bit that's the only time I put heat on my hair like I didn't even straighten my hair for my wedding I didn't even straighten my hair for my wedding. I tried to put minimal heat on my hair. That has helped it grow so, so much. Another thing that I do is that, where are they? Oh, I take vitamins. Um, I found that, I don't know which it is because I kind of started changing things all at the same time, but this is just like a multivitamin. So it has biotin in it, but it's a multivitamin and it also has folic acid in it, which I know is really good and biotin, but I, personally like i don't take any hair and nail pills or any of those like i just take a multivitamin in the morning and i also take a probiotic vitamin in the morning to help my digestive system and i don't know if the probiotic has helped at all but i feel like the multi this multivitamin that i have um the ollie brand has helped my hair grow a lot too so um barely wash your hair vitamins I also drink an insane amount of water. I think I drink like, I try to aim for 80 to 90 ounces of water a day. That's like more than half of my body weight in water. Um, actually, I don't know if that's true, but like I drink an insane amount of water and that makes a really big difference even with my skin. So I drink an insane amount of water a day. I work out and I put good things in my body. Like when you are taking care of yourself and you're putting good things in your body, good things are gonna come out, you know what I mean? So. I found that when I kind of switched my lifestyle a little bit and I started eating not like even insanely healthy like I still eat McDonald's when I want to I'll eat like not healthy foods I'll eat burgers like I don't care I don't restrict myself when I eat but the majority of the time that I'm eating I'm making sure it's balanced and making sure I have protein veggies like healthy carbs I have been putting mostly healthy food in my body not completely like I don't restrict myself I eat whatever I want but I do try to make healthy decisions when I eat and I think that's a big difference too and my super secret that I swear by and I think there's a lot of mixed feelings about this so I don't know take what I say and use it if you want to use it don't use it if you don't but I get Brazilian blowouts done to my hair and every time I get a Brazilian blowout done to my hair I swear my hair grows like three inches and i know that brazilian blowouts loosen your curl so obviously it's gonna look longer naturally but that's not what i mean i mean like four months later when it's practically out of my hair my natural hair has grown so much and i think this is my theory again not a professional my theory is that when i get brazilian blow it's done it makes my curls looser and it makes them softer so i have to touch them less like i barely have to touch my hair i barely have to put anything in it i just let my curls do whatever they want and i don't touch them and i think not touching them is helping them grow so i get brazilian blowouts done like twice a year so i don't do them that often because they're really expensive but i swear by them like swear by them i know that they say that it could damage your hair but i think where it gets dangerous is if you get a brazilian blowout done and then you're putting heat on your hair every single day because it does make your hair easy to straighten easy to do all that stuff easy to blow dry and i think some people get them done with the intention of being able to straighten their hair every day but i get mine done i'm playing tuck with kenai i get mine done with the intention of like having softer curls that aren't as rough and that are easy to deal with every day so i love my curls i don't want them to go away so i still have my curls after it they're just like a softer tad bit looser version and i don't have to touch them and i don't put heat on it and i don't straighten it forever and always like after i get a brazilian blow done so that's like my other tip something else that i do that i think is really really important is that i put my hair in protective hairstyles like you saw in the beginning my hair was in braids if i'm not going anywhere 
and I'm not like going to dinner or going out with my friends or like doing something where I feel like I need to get ready, I always have my hair in a protective hairstyle. I put it in a bun or I put it in pigtail braids. And I think another reason why my hair grew the way it grew was because in law school, I did not care what I looked like. Like that whole semester I was in school, my hair was in braids or it was in a bun. Like I never ever did my hair. And I think since I never did it, it helped it grow. And it was always in protective styles. I kept it safe. So braiding your hair, putting it in buns. When I go to sleep, I put it in like the pineapple pony, like way up here so tall. So it's not um, being rubbed against all my pillows and stuff. I do try to sleep with like silk pillows, which I don't have any right now. I need to go get one or order one or something. And that helps a lot. It helps with your skin a lot too. Um, but anyways, protective hairstyles are really important, especially if you're not doing anything, you might as well just take the extra step to put it in a protective hairstyle. So I think my hair has dried good enough. Oh, another thing I didn't do, I don't color my hair. And that's what started this whole fiasco was that I really, 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 really wanted to dye my hair blonde. So I did it and it destroyed, destroyed my hair. And I had to cut it all off. My curly hair was literally to here and now it's like down here. So it's just now getting lively again. Okay, hold on, can I? So I'm gonna take it out of the t-shirt and now it's like, it's wet, but it's not sopping wet. I find that it styles better when I do that and I don't have to deal with like annoying sopping my hair because that drives me crazy. I guess that is aesthetically pleasing, but I don't care. Ah, maybe this is what you all were waiting for, but these are the products that I put in my hair when I style it. So I watched this one video, which I will try to find and try to link down below that was basically saying like, and this changed everything for me, my curly hair. It was like, you shouldn't just be using one product. I mean, if you can you go but i found that my curls looked better after i watched this video and i followed their advice they use three different products and they're all different there's like a leave-in conditioner more of like a foam or like curl whatever enhancer i don't know what to call it and then some type of gel and then if you want you can follow it up with some type of oil right now my curls are in a place where i don't really have to put a ton of gel in my hair and since I'm not going anywhere tonight, I'm just kind of drying it, like styling it now so it'll be dry. So in the morning when I take it out of my ponytail, I just have to spray it with some water and that's it. I don't want to put gel in it tonight. So I'll show you the ones that I have, but lately I haven't really been using it because I haven't had to. Um, but the first thing that I do is put this in my hair. Uh, almond and avocado leave in like moisturizing conditioner it calls it a moisturizing lotion but it's kind of like a leave-in conditioner this is the brand design essentials um i love this i found it because i was using deep curl products which are great and i love 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 them like use them if you can afford them but they are pretty pricey and i go through my product really fast and um, I just like couldn't really afford to keep buying it all the time. So I tried to find some cheaper alternatives So I got these and this has no parabens um, Or paraffins it may have sulfate though because it doesn't say no sulfate. I Don't think it does Because it's made specifically for curly hair um, anyways I Love this so I just it smells really good, too some in there but like kind of a lot I don't know I, my hair tends to be on the drier side so I like to moisturize as much as I can so then I just run it through my hair like so okay and that's that. And then the next thing I use is from the same company. It is called, um, it's Design Essential again, but it's an almond and avocado curl enhancing mousse. That's what it looks like. Um, I don't know why he wants to get into everything right now. It's because I'm not paying attention to him. Anyway, after I put the conditioner in my hair, I take this and I just do, my hands are slippery. Do some pumps of that and then I just do the same thing I just run it through my hair just run that and then when I'm done I just kind of like 
part it the way I want it to be parted. And that's where I've been stopping, but sometimes my hair will get a little frizzy. Oh, Kenai. Kenai. We we'll use this gel. I don't know how you say it. Miele pomegranate and honey coil sculpting custard. If my hair is frizzy, I will use this, like throw this in at the end. It hasn't been getting too frizzy lately, but sometimes I have problems. Um, and if I notice it start to happening, I'll like spray some water on my hair and then like run a few of these here just to keep it from getting super frizzy. I'll probably use this tomorrow when I actually go somewhere though, since I'm not really going anywhere today. I don't want to put too much in my hair. I just kind of want to let it do its thing. But anyways, those are the products as I eat, that I use. Those are the tips that I have for you guys when it comes to helping your hair grow. Sometimes I do more of a more intense deep conditioning on my hair where I put it on my hair and I put like a heat cap on my hair and I leave it there for like 20 minutes. I only do that once every other week. I used to do it a lot, but now I barely do it. But those are really good for your hair too. Um, but pretty much that's what I do. It's nothing crazy. It's actually very simple. I don't have a complicated hair routine. I don't have a complicated anything routine. <laughs> I like to keep it really, really simple. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I talked about or any of the products, you can find most of them at like any drugstores, Sally's Beauty. I even found these at Ulta. So you should be able to with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.